with San Diego State, are you concerned after their UCLA loss? I mean, it didn't look good. And I know yesterday on the radio you said uh, step back. You thought it was a step back for this Aztecs team, and I, I agree. I mean, Mountain West, they could still go win the Mountain West, obviously, but it's. I think the standard should be high you know, for this Aztecs team when you're talking about going into a Power 5 potentially, and obviously now not, but like that was the talk. And it's just, it feels like against those Power 5 schools, it's clear that they're not on that same level. And this is coming off of a, an, a disappointing season last year under Brady Hope. And, and in college football, you know, like you always want to be getting, like your gym fact, you always want to be getting better. And after that 12-2 and two season in 2021, you know, they've regressed mightily. And, and, and not just a little, like a lot. Um it is concerning how this team played against UCLA because this is now three straight games against power five teams where they've gotten blown out and they have not looked good and they have gotten overmatched and they're oversized and they, you know, just, it just completely could not even put together any semblance of fight against those teams. It was over as soon as it started versus Arizona last year at home versus Utah on the road. And then this year, uh, UCLA at home. And you're probably going to see the same thing this weekend in Corvallis against Oregon State. So that'll be four straight Pac, or well, not Pac-12 anymore, but you know, get my point, power five teams that they have gotten outplayed against. Now, you're right. Yeah, Mountain West, that is the goal because obviously this team can't compete for a, a national championship because they're not in a power five. Um, and they would need to have an insane out-of-conference schedule and run through everybody in the Mountain West and do it at a high clip to even be considered for a, a you know New Year six and and that that one uh, you know um, group of five team that would be put into the, the college football playoff has that ever happened in San Diego State no so it's hard to envision that happening but I just I'm just disappointed with the way that they've started the season as far as how they've looked now two and one you might go hey all that matters is two and one okay cool well watch the games and tell me how they've looked Ohio was a massive struggle. They had, I think, two good drives on offense, which won them the game, to their credit, and their defense played really well against the backup quarterback. Um, the Idaho State game, I thought, was a mess. Um, I, I, it was inconsistency they... on offense. Like, one game they're passing, next game it's Maiden running a bunch. You know, Like, I'm glad that they won that game, because if they lost it, it would have been a disaster. But, again, the offense not pretty and throwing for 83 yards, not good. And then a UCLA game, not good on offense as well. So there's two sides of this. You could look at it as one. It's a brand new offense with Ryan Lindley. You got to give him some time. And it's only three games into his, you know, tenure as the uh, offensive coordinator. And they've also lost two NFL caliber receivers for this, for this offense that they're, that, you know, they're trying to get going here. Um, so you could look at it that way. Or you could look at it as this is a pattern with San Diego State for the last however many years where this offense looks pedestrian all the time. Both are true. Yeah, yeah, both. Yeah, definitely. I think it's definitely okay, especially at the beginning of the year right now, to have the thought of, yeah, they're, they've are they got to find their way. They're losing. They've lost, you know, NFL players. You know, the wideouts, they've got to build that chemistry, connection, whatever. It's going to take some time. But this is a big stretch here. You know, that this schedule, it's not like it's this some easy schedule here. Obviously, UCLA, Oregon State on the road. And Oregon State just blew out UC Davis. And then Air Force and Boise State. So, again, it's not going to be easy. We'll see what happens there. 